¡No! <ríe> Otra vez. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening to you all. Good evening. Okay, so Good evening to you all guys. Welcome once again to this class. It is the time for us to start the class today. So I hope you all are okay, are doing great. I'm so happy to see you back. Thank you. Okay, so, um, well, today we will continue about trying to discover and trying to still study a little bit about adverbs in adjective just to finish with this topic so you can clearly understand. Welcome to the other ones that are still connecting. Welcome to the class. So, um, well, I'm just gonna wait for some others so we can start. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start today with this class. We have uh, 12 of us today in this session. So we will start today. So yesterday, you remember that we saw adverbs, right? Can someone tell me what do you remember about adverbs? Any volunteer? I remember get adverb often in L in Y. Ah, yeah, correct. Very good. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Well, yes. the, an adverb is a word. Uh, that is used to modify or qualify several uh, types of words like adjectives, verbs, or another adverb too. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, Viana Jamilet, are you here? Yes. Okay. Do you remember something about adverbs the adverb uh, before the adjective mm -hmm. that's it mm. it's okay um, like i'm not in class oh you were not in class yesterday no <laughs> Okay, yeah, I today, see, today and I know today. that today we have uh, like two or three more in this class. So to the new ones, welcome. Uh, well, I won't, I'm going to tell you my name. My name is Nelson Adonai Ramirez. So, and I'm going to be here with you during this course, okay? Because I noticed that today in the morning that some of you are new in this group, that those students were not yesterday in the class. But welcome to you all. So today, uh, we will see the second part of the class that we were trying to finish yesterday, but because we only have one hour, so we couldn't finish it. Today, we will see the second part. Yesterday, okay. we saw 
the part of the adverbs. And today we will see the part of the adjectives. So remember if I am talking too fast because sometimes I tend to speak a little bit fast. If I'm talking too fast and you don't understand something, let me know, okay? So please. All right. Do not be so shy, feel free to ask because here we are all learning. We are all learning. So with that being said, we're going to start with a class and I'm going to share with you the presentation or um, well, the slides that we will have for today. Today, we're going to try to cover um, and try to know a little bit about adverbs before adjectives. That is going to be the main topic that we have for today. But before doing that, we will try to find out how an adjective works, okay? So pay attention to these guys because we will have some exercises at the end. Okay, first of all, I would like to tell you the meaning of an adjective. What's an adjective? An adjective is a word that we use to describe a person, place, or thing. An adjective can also modify another noun or pronouns. Do you know uh, the personal pronouns? Jenny Gloribel, can you help me with the personal pronouns, please? Um, pronoun I. Yeah. Uh, he, she. Yes. We, it, they. Correct. Um, Thank you so much. Okay. Perfect. So we have there the definition of what is an adjective. It's really simple. This is not that complicated as in adverbs. Because do you remember yesterday that we saw like around seven or eight questions that we have in order to find an adverb in a sentence? There were a lot of questions that we have, right? But here it's a little bit more, it's like easier for you to understand. Because the only thing that we have to know is that an adjective, it is only something that is going to describe. What does it mean? It is something that is going to give you more information about a noun or a pronoun. So let's see, we have here some examples. The first one, it says, it was the gray cat. So as you can see there, the color, the word gray, gray, that is the color, gris, that is the adjective. Why? Because it's giving you more information and it's describing the cat. Because now we know that the cat, it's color gray, right? So that's very simple. You just only have to remember that an adjective will be something that will give you more information about a noun or a pronoun. We have the second example, and we have, I like black coffee. It's not the same if we say I like coffee, because if I say I like coffee, I don't exactly know what type of coffee do I like. Do I like coffee with cream? Do I like, uh, like normal coffee or what? So the word black, even though it is a color, is used as an adjective in that sentence. Why? Mm. Because it's giving you more information about the, co the coffee. It's telling you that that person likes the coffee, but the black coffee specifically. So it's not that complicated. So, with that being said, let's try to find out questions because on these ones, we also have 
questions that will help you to identify an adjective in a sentence. So these three questions, this is very simple. We don't have that much uh, questions as the ones we had with, uh, yesterday. Because yesterday we had around seven or eight questions, but in these, the adjectives, we just have three questions. And the first one, it is which one? The second one, how many? And the third one, what kind? So those three questions, remember that. Which one, how many, and what kind? Which one, how many, and what kind? Those are the three questions that are going to help you to try to find out or to try to identify an adjective that is in a sentence, okay? So, do you remember the examples that I gave you before? These same examples we are going to use here. The first one, it says, it was the great cat. Which was the cat? ¿Cuál era el gato? Yes, which was the cat? El gris, yes? That will give you the answer, the gray. The gray. So now we know that the adjective in that case, it's going to be the color gray because it's giving you more information about the cat. It's not the same if I said it was the cat because I don't know what type of cat. It's, I'm talking just in general. If I said it was the cat, but if I said it was the gray cat, now I know more information. Now I know that it's gray cat, yes? So let's see the second one. Number two, we have, I like black coffee. And we ask the question, what kind of coffee do I like? ¿Qué tipo de café me gusta? What kind of coffee do I like? And the answer to that question, it will easily be black. Black, right? Because now we know that the type of coffee I like or the kind of coffee I like it is the black one. Yes? Perfect. Any questions so far? Any question? No. Is everything clear? Yes, everything's clear. Okay, perfect. So we're going to continue with that. Something very important that you have to keep in mind is that things that are always true. When it comes to function, adjectives are information gatherers. What does that mean? Los adjetivos son aquellos recolectores de más información. Yes? The adjectives will always give you more information. Specifically, they provide further information about an object's size, shape, age, 